types of hypothesis. Now there's different types of hypothesis. A simple hypothesis says there ex exists a relationship between two variables, a dependent and independent variable. Now an independent variable is something that causes or impacts another. The dependent variable is the one that is affected from that cause and effect. What you'll often see is we don't know the given total population usually, but we try to understand that. And so here we have HO, which is the null hypothesis saying the population mean is equal to 50. And we say there's total number of male people in the population is 50 and the total number of female people in the population is 50. Now a complex hypothesis could refer to the prediction of relationships between two or more independents or two or more dependent variables. So instead of eating vegetables causes weight loss, eating vegetables and sleeping more than eight hours a night and exercising at least 30 minutes five times a week reduces weight loss. And now you have a multivariate analysis or a complex hypothesis because all of these independent variables could affect weight loss, the dependent variable. But it also could affect multiple dependent variables. So not just weight loss, but reduce blood pressure as well as weight loss. Now the null hypothesis is the baseline. It's the hypothesis of no difference. And it's denoted as H sub zero. It's a subscript. The null hypothesis performed per possible rejection under the true assumption and always refers to a specified value of the population parameter mu. So this little symbol that you see is denoted as mu, and that's the population mean, or what the population mean is purported to be. So if the population mean is 100, then we have HO colon mu equals 100. And that denotes that our null hypothesis says that the population mean is 100. Well, then we want an alternative hypothesis, right? So if Steve says the population's 100, but I believe that's not accurate, then I have a few options for an alternative hypothesis. And the alternative hypothesis is always denoted by either H subscript one or H subscript A for alternative. Now, alternative hypotheses can also be used to decide when we're using a one-tailed or two-tailed test. But so if Steve said the population mean is 100, I say, I don't believe that. So the alternative hypotheses that I could create, I could say that the population mean is not 100, which means in my head, it's either more or less, but I'm not sure which. I could also say the population mean is definitely not 100 and it's definitely more, greater than, or I could say, I don't believe that the population mean is not 100, it's definitely less than 100. And we have our statistical hypothesis as a method of statistical inference performed using data from a scientific study. So we might have a mean population of 75 from a total number of cities 10, but we can expand on that in a bit.